Hello and welcome to Goa 365's News Bulletin with me, Lina Naik. The liquor traders in Goa are demanding that the existing state highways be denotified to save their outlets from getting shut down due to the Supreme Court order. On the other hand, the central government has given in principle approval to 21 more roads as national highways. The Union Ministry of Road Transport and Highways had sent this letter on 2nd of January to 19 state governments including Goa government. Our information states that Goa government had approved it. It consists of two state highways, 12 major district roads and 7 other roads. It covers a distance of 230 kilometers and has a bridge across Mapsa River at Sodan. These are the roads. State highways of 54 kilometers. Savadentisk to Dharbandoda Junction, Bori Circle to Zuna in Sange via Shiroda and Savadde, Coastal District Roads of 64 km, Old Goa to Pilar joining two national highways in Tiswadi, Vaisao Junction to Mobor in Salset, Vare Market to Kandoli via Nerul in Bardes, Betin to Saligaon via Vare in Bardes, Agwa to Arpora via Kalangut in Bardes. Sopnet to Keri in Penne. Hinterland District Roads of 62 km. Dharbandoda to Tamdi Sulla via Sakoda in Dharbandoda Taluka. Kuren to Savargal via Shigam in Sange. Shalibar to Saptakoteshwar Temple in Bicholi Taluka. Pilgaon to Sarmanas in Bicholi Taluka. Charrasta to Mangini in Sattari Taluka. Midland Bridge and Small Roads of 50 km. Link Road and Sodan Bridge across Mapsa River at Salvador Dumund in Bardes. Seja Goa Plant to Shalibar in Narve in Bicholi Taluka. Narve to Pilgaon Road in Bicholi. Walpoe to Nagargaon in Sattari. Nagargaon to Brahmakarmari in Sattari. Khotoden to Ganje in Sattari. Mashel to Vagurme via Savoyvere in Fonda. Goa Congress President Luizino Valero has criticized the government decision to widen these roads through thickly populated localities without applying mind. These decisions are highly insensitive, arbitrary, irresponsible and anti goan And the hidden agenda is to target Goa and Goans, as they have done in the case of mining. All this is illegal, is patently illegal, is against the mandate of the constitution and is against the law of the land. And without following the mandate of law, which is compulsory, the state government and the central government goes ahead and issues this notification. They cannot take decisions like this which are not only arbitrary, high-handed, I would say they are draconian. which will destroy the livelihoods of nearly 90%. Our senior reporter Kenzid Rodriguez with video journalist Tishat Sheikh in Panji and reporter Sandeep Kamulkar from Mapsa.